Walika, come up to the stage. Put your hands up for Walika. Good evening, everybody. The first poem I want us to do is going to be a shout out for the ladies. How many sisters I got in the house? It's entitled Embrace Yourself. Are you aware? Are you aware of the undying and surpassing beauty, strength, and Beauty, strength, wisdom, and power that a black woman can only hold. Beauty, wisdom, strength, and power that's been alive since the slave days of old. Remember Harriet, Coretta, Sojourner, and Fannie Lou. The next time America tells you you need the money, power, or strength to be, and know that we've been overcoming and enduring beautiful African-American caregivers from the beginning, and without confidence, Sisters, we will always be. Degrade and demean you. America, media, America, the media, and money will do to try to bring out the best in you. They're not going to tell you the truth. There's something beautiful inside of you. There's something beautiful in you. There's a queen in you. A queen who's strong and beautiful. Don't let your inner beauty die because we're living in hard and difficult times. Stand tall, stand tall, and be strong. During these hard and difficult times, take a moment to stand. Take a moment to look at them and cry. Crying heals and crying heals. Oh boy. replenishes and crying heals replenishes crying heals replenishes renews and restores crying does something money or a man can never do crying will bring out the best in you oh, yeah. you confident strong black and beautiful that's you I love y'all, but everything is not the white man's fault. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Uh -huh. <laughs> we got love. Uh, and I want y'all to know that the, the white man in America has set y'all up the fall. Uh -huh. So this is for y'all. The black man. The black man for the earth. The black man for the earth. The man whose feet walked this earth first. In Africa, a great, rich, respected king who once did reign. Yet due to this jealousy, the white man decided all of that had to change. So you were put into a boat, treated like cargo, and forced to be a slave. Today the government tells you you're free, but remember your blessed sweat and tears built this so-called land of opportunity where everyone is treated equally, where you're considered to be a minority, where as a black man, a boy and a nigga are all you've ever been until the government all you'll ever be. Your women have been raped and turned against you. Your children are classified and considered to be Bastards, rejects, niggas, and monkeys too. It's time to step up and take a stand to be recognized and respected for who and what you are. A black man, a black man, the first man to walk this earth, a black man, your true father and the father of this earth. Mm -hmm.